Um, my name's Gene. I'm from uh, Delaware, and uh, I'm working on the uh, project here at the uh, Champaign Aviation Museum. And I'm personally working on the control cable apparatus. This was actually made out of a block of aluminum. One, one of the volunteers did an excellent job of forming this. And then the uh, pulleys were put on there. And these are, this is bulkhead six. And we're, we will put holes through the bulkhead here to have these cables run through. But we're presently mounting these brackets. And these cables will go through bulkhead six from the cockpit to the control surfaces on the rear of the aircraft. And uh, these will be the primary controls for the control of the aircraft. So uh, uh, will be one on this side, be another one on this side here. So it'd be, this would be for the right side of the plane and this would be for the left side of the plane. So, mm -hmm. so you're mounting that right now uh, and then you'll put the holes in later? Is that right? Or well, before we, these are actually bolted on, they're not riveted on, oh, so okay. they're easily taken off and then we can put the holes through the bulkhead to go back to the rear of the aircraft. Okay. So now the control cables run through the radio room? Yes, correct? they do. They'll okay, be... See, they'll run uh, right across... The they'll aircraft. be running right up along the ceiling here. Okay. So you can actually see these things. When you're in the aircraft and you're flying, you can actually see these cables moving as the pilot's controlling the plane. So, 